Good afternoon. My name is Lizzie Mraz, and I'm here today to interview for the Open Business Development Manager position at Salesforce. In this interview, I'm going to be answering three questions. The first question is, tell me about a time that you didn't work well with a supervisor. What was the outcome and how would you have liked to change what happened? So my current position, um, I work in sales. Sales interfaces with all the different groups within the company, and each of these groups is set up with their own vice president. I was working on a project um, with one of these groups, and there was a little bit of tension building um, with the vice president, whose name was Mark, because his expectations of me um, were different than the expectations of my boss. Um, Mark thought that my role should be more involved in the project, being in sales while my boss was instructing me um, that that was unnecessary and to spend my time elsewhere. So we had a little bit of tension building um, and situation occurred where I was called by a customer one day um, who shared information regarding this project with me. And then right after I got off the phone, I thought I would you know, try to improve a little bit uh, with my relationship with Mark and go be involved and share what the customer had told me right away. So I marched over to his desk um, thinking I was going to um, have some good in information that we could talk about together and immediately was yelled at um, to go away in a very forceful, loud manner um, without saying anything. Um, you can imagine I was a little taken aback because I had not seen him earlier in the day and I was unaware of anything that had happened that would make him have such a strong reaction. Um, in addition to him yelling at me in this manner, um, the floor plan where his desk was is very open and the whole floor essentially heard him yell at me this way and saw the situation occur. Um, now, I may be a little bit more sensitive than necessary for things like this because I am a female working in a very um, male-dominated engineering um, environment, but I was very uncomfortable by being yelled at um, in that manner, and I didn't want you know, those who witnessed it to think that they could treat me or anyone in a way where you're yelling at someone to go away as they approach your desk. So after the situation occurred, I directly went to my boss um, just because I thought it needed to be addressed. Um, didn't think it was acceptable office behavior. Um, so talked to my boss and we set up a meeting for the following day with Mark together to talk about what happened. And um, actually the outcome was really good. So during the meeting together, Mark apologized several times, admitted that yelling in that manner was unacceptable. Um, he was frustrated with the sales department from something occurring right before I approached his desk uh, on another customer that I had no involvement with, but he kind of took his anger out on me when I approached his desk. Um, but he apologized, I accepted the apology, and actually since then, um, it was a very good outcome and we still work together and work much better than we did initially just because I think I demanded a certain level of respect in that situation and um, he understood. So I actually don't think I would have changed how I reacted I think reporting it and getting someone else involved was the right action. Um, and I do think it's really important that um, there's a level of respect for everyone within an office workplace. So I was really happy with that outcome. Um, now I'll move to the second question of the interview. And the second question is, what is your biggest weakness? So with this question, um, one of the weaknesses I have in a professional environment uh, with my current role 
is sometimes I struggle to respond to every inquiry I get in a very timely manner. Uh, my current role, I cover a territory of seven states geographically, and I have uh, customer inquiries coming in, um, typically over 100 a day. Uh, they can be small technical inquiries to um, more sales-oriented or commercial inquiries. And one of the struggles I've had is just prioritizing which of these needs to be answered first and how quickly I can get to all of them. So this is something I've been working on. I actually um, got my boss involved this year just because I thought um, it needed a little bit more atten attention. And uh, we've worked together and now what I do is, um, the way I divide it is uh, customers who have open opportunities for over a million dollars. Um, the goal for that is to answer them within three hours and absolutely the same day. Everything else has a two day limit. Um, and something else I'm doing is forwarding uh, some of these emails or uh, phone calls I'm getting to a sales engineer that reports to me um, for the smaller, smaller, less technical inquiries that I receive. So uh, both of those things are really helping. And one of the other things that has helped is I've blocked out um, from three to five o'clock every day at work. I kind of just sit down and make sure I get um, all of the questions answered um, from the different customers. So moving on to the last question of the interview. Um, the last question is, tell me about your proudest achievement. So um, I like this question. Um, my proudest achievement in a professional environment is I actually was the youngest person to ever be promoted to a business development manager role um, in the sales department at my company. And in addition to being the youngest to obtain that, um, I also have had the highest performance for the past three years. So I'm very proud of this. Um, and I take my job very seriously to get these results because I, I like being number one and um, hitting my goal. Um, so yeah, I, I've consistently made numbers uh, for the past three years. We set up our goals by winning new business opportunities. And um, my first year in the position in 2017, I hit 92% of my goal. Um, the next closest business development manager was at 88%. Then last year, I actually hit 152% of my goal. And the runner up to that was 121%. And this year I'm on track to um, being the number one leader again and hit the highest number at 1.6 million. Um, so the way we're set up, there are seven different business development managers and we're, we uh, have territories geographically. So um, this past year, I actually was promoted to go from three to seven states in the United States to cover because of my high performance. And I think I've been successful in this because um, my communication skills are very strong. Um, I have a technical engineering background, so I'm really able to answer a lot of the technical questions that come in quickly. And my problem solving skills are a big part of this, um, trying to solve different customer inquiries and problems that we're approached with. Uh, I can. I can sometimes add a lot on spot without having the other engineers to get involved in a project. So I'm really proud of this and I think that this can be applied to the role that um, is open at Salesforce and I hope to hear back from you soon. Thank you for your time today.